Yeah, I'd probably react pretty much the same and some random soda can appears in front of me. Here you go. How very nice of you. I've forgotten. Oh, hi, Sophia. Yeah, I forgot. The characters are looking for someone special, aren't they? I thought you were swimming down at the beach. I was waiting for you, but you never came. You said you'd play a few games and then head right over. <laughs> Well then, young woman, let me explain this to you. When a young man says, I'm just going to play a few games and then be over, he, he, what he means, literally, is I'm going to shut myself up in my room and not come out until someone quite literally drags me out by my feet. The power of gaming. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not. I didn't plan on staying so long, but I got kind of sucked in. Yeah, man, I know that feeling. <laughs> Actually, I remember the scene quite like this, a bit different, but yeah. Basically, I had, uh, uh, after school day, I had uh, told a classmate of mine that we'll meet later on in the, the, the forest nearby to play some shit. Basically, we wanted to go a bit of, you know, there was a bit of a gulch there. You could climb down into an auto and, uh, you know, do some some charge stuff. And I got back home, started up my, my PlayStation, was it? Was it actually my PlayStation? Might have been the Nintendo 64, actually, that I started up. I'm sorry, I'm kind of confused here. And, um, well, <laughs> I played, and I played some more, and um, some uh, uh, two hours later, uh, I got a rather uh, loud knock on my door, and I, you know, we got up and on, and I was standing, and I was really furious about me having completely <laughs> blown them off. Uh, I was like, oops, sorry, I got kind of sucked in. <laughs> ah, good old memories. Yeah, homework to do. Sure, more important than gaming. <laughs> really don't know, man, well, little Sophia. But I was fighting so well today, and I leveled up a lot too, you know. Don't even try that. It's just like explaining that to your mom. She just will not understand what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. How nice for you. See, typical mom reaction there. Hmm. Someone's in a bad mood today. No shit, Sherlock. Don't make that mistake. And as long as your swimsuit that you wear on the beach is not skimpy as fuck, I don't think you're gonna get much interest. And then again, Fate does look like he's, what, 16 or something? Mm, probably even a not so skimpy swimsuit would get him going, all things considered. Heck, just get it over with a banger once and then, you know, go back to playing games. <laughs> Sophia? Hmm. Ah, my things, the lady does seem a bit pissed off. Never trust a woman, she says he's not mad. She's mad. She's absolutely mad. And she wants you, of course, to figure out A, what you did wrong, B, how to apologize appropriately, and C, butter up a bit. Do you want to go to the beach? Yeah, too I weak. Well, somebody I know was having the time of his life playing games all by himself. You don't know that. Maybe he played online. Maybe he was playing with his friends. Don't be judging him. So, do you want to take a walk through the hotel? Hmm. I bet it'll be fun. What do you say? Come on. Please. Bit of a forceful please. approach there, but hey, if it works. Well, if you want to hang out with me that badly, I guess it's all right. She's totally got the hot time, isn't she? I have not in my lifetime found a woman that easily willing to forgive and forget. Apart from ones who really like the other side. She's totally in it. Totally. Great. Let's go. Time's a wasted. Okay. Just a guy who just wasted a lot of time. <laughs> I love it. Ah, uh, this beginning is awesome. Boy, she sure is taking forever. I bet she's making me wait on purpose. Nah, man, it's just woman. When a woman says, I'm just changing, that's, uh... I mean, if you were older, you'd probably be, uh, you know, having a nice amount of cigarette butts on the floor. And that uh, employee would probably get pissed off, and you're just like, what? I'm trying to recreate a scene from a movie. 
<laughs> but yeah, no, I have not yet found any woman that uh, is just changing in like five minutes. I have to take a bit longer. Hey, you know. It's just, just how the gentler gender tends to be, isn't it? You get used to it. See, there it was again. I saw... I'm still seeing that woman. You forgot to button up your trousers. She's totally inviting me. She's like, look at that. You can almost see something, huh? Hmm? Wanna go and back inside and do something, you know? Do the dirty. <laughs> I'm pretty damn sure that if he could see his eyes, his eyes would be staring right down. We're like, hmm, I see. <laughs> Come the fuck up. You see it, right? I'm not the only one. I'm not having some, some deranged illusions here because I'm uh, uh, not even aware of being horny, but apparently I am. No, no, that's, that's a thing, isn't it? Is that an actual thing that people do? You do know there's a button there. That, that, that's there for a reason, you know? Basically, just uh, you know, half a day passed, but well, just woman things. Yeah, but at least I was doing things in that time, you know, like playing games. Right, right. Let me put that into perspective. I think, reasonably speaking, if I do the whole program, which you know. Basically, you know, getting a set of clothes, going to the bathroom, taking a nice shower. Um, grooming, you know, myself a bit, you know, taking care of the hair, the beard and all of the nonsense, I'd still be probably finished, you know, with the whole program in like 30 minutes tops, I'd say. Probably more like 20, 25 minutes even, and just adding a bit on to, you know, with a chance. Okay, just don't yank my arm off. Now then, time to go on a... Oh, right, you. Who are you? I had completely forgotten about you. This is the Grossetti's dressing room. Hmm. Yes. Oh, I know. You want my autograph, don't you? Oh, well, gotta keep the fans happy. <laughs> See, if I ever get to the point where my first reaction to somebody I meet is, Oh, of course, you know me. I'm famous, after all. Please shoot me. Please shoot me. Did that... The, the level of cringe I don't want to. <laughs> the bird to live with. Usually I'd be pretty mad if someone just came barging in like that, but you're so cute, I'll make an exception this time. Oh god, this just turns into an NTR plot. Special variety, actually. Uh, um, you said the Rossettis? What? You didn't know our troops' name? Yeah, I mean, how? Don't go forgetting it now. The great and mighty fate, apparently. Fate, but I'm Sophia. Right. And she completely ignores poor little Sophia. Like right. You're just a necessary. My darling fate. Rup. I don't know where I had uh, taken that uh, pen from, but uh from the fairy good on you. I highly doubt that. <laughs> what the? It's an autograph, all right. <laughs> it has nothing to do with what she said. Just drawn somebody's shirt. She was just, you know, uh, tricking them. Huh? What? I thought you wanted my autograph. No one said that, but. Nobody said anything about wanting an autograph. Who's the guy in the background? He looks suspicious. You just imply that salesmen never do fucking honest day works life because I would take that rather personally, mind you. 
I mean, to some degree, I am a salesperson, you know. I work in sales. As in, you know, up front, quite often, actually, in my store. So fuck you. I know. You're here to collect on a loan. So you're too early. That loan's good until next month, they promise. Oh, well, you can this all you want on loan sharks, because I'm not one, so I don't give a shit. Yeah, that was evil. Put them down. No, no. Who are the Rossettis, anyway? And what's with this fairy of illusion stuff? Mm, okay. So. Mm, you two are just lost? Not especially. Well, we're not really lost. Oh no! You're robbers! I mean, technically speaking, since I do plan to actually take all the stuff that you have potentially in your room, I know. No, not that either. Good way to lie yourself out of the situation, Fate. Let's wait until I have control Where again. God. You're not one of my fans. You're not here to collect on our loan. You're not lost. So what do you think you're doing barging into our room like this? That's an RPG. What were you expecting? Um, I'm sorry for barging into your room. We were just taking a little walk, checking out the place. Isn't that right, Sophia? Mm -hmm. A walk? Hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, a walk. Barging into people's rooms isn't called taking a walk. I mean, as long as I move my legs, I am taking a walk. If said walk leads me into a room, it's still taking a walk. Verb. for burglars, or lost kids, or stalkers, or groupies. Uh, okay then, we're lost. <laughs> At this point he just gave up and was like, okay. Let's get out of here, Faith. Good idea. We crushed her enthusiasm a bit. Oh well, it's not like I performed yet, so it did seem a little strange. Bitch, please, in that case I have probably more stage experience than you. If I actually were allowed to count all of my streaming too, then I would be like, you know. I don't even know, how many streams did I do at this point? A few hundred plus? Uh, let's take a year, year 365 days, considering that I Probably did one okay, so let's say I have 360 times at least more experience than you. Take that. I'm your senpai now. You're a performer? <laughs> That's right. Well, I mean... We're the Rossetti Troop, and we bring you a fleeting vision of the future. Uh -huh. The fairy guide, Peter Rossetti. Hmm. You are very much, uh, very much, I don't even know. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm missing the right word to describe that sort of uh, <laughs> confidence. Right, for me, but, uh, well, really into it at least. You're not really the host, though, because you haven't performed yet. Well, oh, well, well. So this shirt with your signature is going to be worth something. Fate, my good man, you have the right set of priorities. Is it worth money, though? Of course! It's the first autograph I ever signed. The first? Well, indeed. Tomorrow's my debut. In six months, why, you could buy a whole planet with that shirt. Ooh, 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 ooh. A whole planet, you say? Oh, yeah? Amazing. An entire planet. I guess I'll have to take good care of it. He really doesn't sound convinced, does he? Hey! You don't believe me! Come on, Fate, you are old enough to not crush a child's dream that much. Okay, let me take the rain here, apparently. Um, no, 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 little one. Of course I believe you. No, I believe you. I'm sure you'll be dynamite on the stage. <laughs> well, yeah. No reason to be mean to the child, apart from the obvious that she's mean to say as people. I'm in a good mood. So I'll give this little present to you, to my first fan. Oh, oh. Huh? A 
ticket? Yeah, for the show, I suppose. Yeah. Our show's tomorrow. You better not miss it. Wouldn't even dream of it. After you see us do our thing, you'll want to treasure that autograph for the rest of your life. I'm looking forward to that. Thanks. I'm looking forward to the show. Great. See you later, Fate. Okay, that fun fire was a bit overkill for getting a fucking free ticket. Wait, talk to me. What is it, Fate? Why do you keep talking to me like I'm some little kid? Wait how big someone is. If they act like a child, I'll talk to them like they want. Sans, I'm grown up already. Don't get lost like you. Good <laughs> to see you at the show. Okay, Fate. What does the clown have to say? Don't you worry, my lad. Our little invincible Missy here will take on any foe. I am not yet convinced that little miss is useful for that. The little lady practices late into the evening each and every day. She practices more than anyone. I'm sure she'll be fine this time too. I don't really know what you're planning. No, there are tigers, bears and other dangerous animals in there. My little babies might freak out if someone they don't know barges in. Yet you just casually mentioned it, you have tigers, bears and other such nonsense inside there. Okay. Maybe that show is actually worth watching if that's what she has uh, stored away. 